You can put half of Trump supporters into what I call the basket of deplorables. Right? The racist, sexist, homophobic, xenophobic, Islamophobic, you name it. And unfortunately, there are people like that. And he has lifted them up. I want to see how they should be ashamed of themselves. It's disgraceful. Who is the person, though? Raise your hand. Who's the person that took action over there? Come here. Come here. Come here. I love these guys. I love these guys. I love these people. Come here. Come here. Come here. Get over here. Look at this guy. Come here. Come on up. Bring him up here. That's all right. Bring him up. I want him up here. Come here. Bring him up too. Come here. Do not let them intimidate you. You back this man right here to the hill. They will say anything. They will do anything to keep in power, okay? We don't need who we've got in there now. I'm talking Republicans and Democrats. He's right. We need to get some fresh bunch up there. Some fresh blood. Some fresh thinking, okay? And my man, Donald Trump, I'll tell you what, I ain't gonna lie to you, Donald. When you first got into this, I kind of was a lippy. I, I ain't gonna lie. So I don't know what, uh, Donald Trump, you're the best we got by far. He's a great public speaker, this guy. Uh, I got two tours of Iraq. I'm a Richmond County deputy. If it wasn't for Mr. Trump right here, I don't think any of us would have the voice that we have. This is the only man that's going to really bring America back. He understands what it means for me and my people out here who have been, to, have been to, to war. The police, everything you talk about, Mr. Trump, I can promise you right now, my department and the departments around me, we need you. Great. I, I mean, that's so cool. But think of it. I see this guy's nasty language, really horrible language, which won't be reported by these guys. Really horrible, horrible language. For what? You know, when you think of it, we're all after the same thing, right? Whether you're Democrat, whether you're liberal, Republican, conservative, whatever you are, we want safety, we want a good military, we want our vets taken care of, we want borders, we want education, we want homes, we want to be able to eat and live and have a nice life. I mean, you'd think I could talk to somebody like that in 10 minutes, but a lot of them don't want to listen to it. You know, a lot of them have bad thoughts beyond, I'm telling you, there's something going on. But you hear the filthy mouth, and then all of a sudden, I see fists starting to fly. So like about four of them. And a rough cookie. This was not an easy guy. I looked at him. I said, that's a rough cookie, the other guy. And then he puts his fingers in the air, you know. He wouldn't do it in front of those guys, let me tell you. But I love it. I love people with courage. I mean, courage. Sometimes you'll go and we'll go and, and stuff like that will go on a whole entire time. Uh, but I just respect those two guys a lot. So I want to thank you, fellas.
Amazing. Really amazing.